We begin tonight with breaking news. Providence's city council president is indicted on corruption charges. About two hours ago, Luis Ciponte became the latest in a long line of Rhode Island politicians to go before a judge pleading not guilty to four criminal counts, including embezzlement. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Kleiner joins us live from Superior Court now with the breaking details. Jared. Mike and Shannon, another blow to the upper ranks of the Providence City Council. This time, its leader has a plate of problems now before him. A cuffed Providence City Council President Luisa Ponte Wednesday confidently pleading not guilty in Superior Court to four counts of alleged campaign finance crimes. This one week after Ward 3 residents voted to recall City Councilor Kevin Jackson of Ponte's number two because of his own corruption arrest. Among the two felonies and two misdemeanors against Aponte, unlawful appropriation of funds from his campaign account, embezzlement, and unlawful use of campaign funds. The attorney general's office saying Aponte faces up to 20 years in prison and a $50,000 fine on each of the two felony charges. According to the grand jury indictment, Aponte's alleged financial crimes occurred between December 2013 and December 2015. In September, Eyewitness News obtained a state board of elections report, which found Aponte borrowed thousands from his city retirement account and his ex-wife to pay back his campaign fund for more than 15 grand in personal or unexplained expenses over six years. According to that report, Aponte repeatedly used campaign dollars to cover things like groceries, gas, Netflix, and iTunes. Aponte was first elected to the city council in 1998 and became president in 2015. Why do you answer these charges, Mr. President? He and his attorney, Artin Kaloyan, did not take questions as they left court. And we now have a statement in for Mayor Jorge Alorza tonight calling on Aponte to step down as council president. Coming up new at 6 o'clock, more of that statement and of Aponte's history of campaign finance violations. We'll see you next hour. Live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom outside Superior Court, Jared Planter, Eyewitness News. First, we continue tracking developing news that was breaking at 5. The grand jury indictment of Providence City Council President Luis Aponte. He is the second city council member to face charges in the last year. He's accused of embezzlement and misusing campaign money. And now new at 6, Mayor Alorza is weighing in on today's indictment. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Pliner has the developing details along with a look at Aponte's past campaign finance violations. Jared. Yeah, Mike and Shannon, I mean, this comes a week after Ward 3 residents voted to recall City Councilor Kevin Jackson of Ponte's number two because of his own corruption case. Charges? Providence City Council President Luisa Ponte in handcuffs Wednesday, confidently pleading not guilty to four counts of alleged campaign finance crimes. When that was over, Providence Mayor Jorge Alorza said this. The charges brought against the council president are serious, and I call on him to step down from his leadership position immediately. The felonies against Ponte, unlawful appropriation of funds from his campaign account, and embezzlement, the attorney general's office saying he faces up to 20 years in prison and a $50,000 fine on each. Months ago, Eyewitness News obtained a state board of elections report which found Aponte borrowed thousands from his city retirement account and his ex-wife to pay back his campaign fund for over 15 grand in personal or unexplained expenses over six years. Aponte has a long history of campaign finance violations, including almost 20 grand in fines for delinquent filings. As of September, state officials said Aponte faced nearly 50 grand in penalties for more late filings. Now, Ponte did not answer any of our questions as he left court, but reading more from Mayor Alorsa right now, quote, Providence has worked so hard to overcome this stereotype. And today's indictment of Council President Luisa Ponte proves that we still have a long way to go to ensure ethics and transparency for our residents. Live outside Superior Court tonight with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Jared Planner, Eyewitness News.